Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. I had a message recently saying, Phil, why haven't you featured any Rush on the channel yet? So, here's some Rush. I'm just going to have a quick look at the first album. Now, this isn't, if you're looking at this thinking, oh, you're talking about the first album. I'm not. I'm going to talk about the box set from the first album, which came out in 2014. A box with just one album in, 200 gram vinyl. So, here it is. This is a look at the Rush debut album from 1974 and the box set that came out um, in 2014, I believe, yes it was, an Ireland Def Jam music group. And this is a box set that I, I wondered whether they were going to go through the whole series of albums, but they didn't. Um, but it's a it's a wonderful uh, piece and if you are a Rush fan, um, I would say it's a, a really integral part of your collection um, and this is probably one of my favourite with moving pictures probably my favourite Rush album I know it's the kind of metal end of where they were when they started but I've always loved it so let's have a look the lid it's a very well made box this for considering there's only one album in it and the inside of the lid is a picture of the tape box a facsimile of the tape box there showing the um, side with working man on and uh, all the pencil draw uh, markings as well from the producer absolutely lovely stuff there's a little uh, this was the label sticky label that was on the front of the box before I broke into the cellophane basically rediscovered limited edition 200 gram vinyl 40th anniversary reissue 1974 moon records album features all the original details with a poster band photo prints, family tree, and a digital download card as well. And the vinyl was ripped at AAAC, MP4's direct metal mastering. There's three photo cards. One of the first drummer, John Rutzi, Geddy Lee, more vintage shots from that year, Alex Lifeson. And then there's a big poster of the first album. You can see here, so quite a big poster as well. So that's from the period. So great picture of the, the band there as well on the Moon Records. Then there's a family tree. This is just a single card. Um, there's a few kind of a bit of memorabilia on the front um, and a press release there. And on the back, it basically goes through all the different incarnations of the band becoming Rush changing the name then coming rush again then there's a card that shows one of the tape reels and on the back of this it basically gives you all the credits for the 40th anniversary issue a bit of information about direct metal mastering and who was involved and where it was done the download code etc and um, this was mastered at abbey road studios in december 2013 and then the final part of the box set and on the inside of the back of the box is the other tape other side of that tape box is the album itself obviously 200 gram vinyl it, it feels really heavy and thick um, wonderful um, card used here it feels luxurious there's all the the back cover the original back cover made in Canada etc and the album itself which is on the Moon Records imprint and it's 200 gram vinyl as I said you can see there you can see my reflection as well um, but it's a wonderful pressing uh, from 1974. Wow, nearly 50 years old. Um, so that is the Rush first album box set that was released in 2014. So there you go, the first Rush album in a box. Um, I think this is quite rare now, but as I said there, I think I paid 12.99 in English money for this. Um, and it seems to be extravagant before you get in there, just a few photographs and so, seems extravagant. The price is actually very good, isn't it? 12 99 for 200 gram vinyl. But what I'm saying is what, what's in the box. Um, I wonder if they could have padded it out with some kind of an essay about the band coming together, the impact of the album at the time, that kind of thing. But I know a lot of Rush fans, this is a, a very um, valuable piece in their collections. And of course, the track, The Seven Minutes, and seven seconds of the song called Working Man. Kind of put them on the map. I remember, do you know where I first saw this? 
there's a there's a in the UK there's a there's a, a chain of shops called Boots the Chemist. And long time ago, in the dark ages of the 1970s, Boots the Chemist used to have a music department next to the photograph department and those kind of things. And this is where I first saw it. And all I saw was that. And I just thought, I wonder what, what they're like. And it was obviously looking at the band on the back. Now, you could say that a lot of bands in this 1974 period, because that's when it was that I saw this, aged about 15, most bands look like that, even if they didn't play rock, even if they played um, disco or soul, probably good chance they had long hair and had loon pants and, and very flamboyant tops. Um, but I think there's a good chance when you got called Working Man, don't know. I just felt that that was probably a rock track. And it was a older school friend's brother had bought it and he put it on and as I was about to leave school and go into work that track really meant a lot to me but it's still to this day isn't it a fantastic rock metal track I mean this is where they could have just carried on and gone down the metal path because I mean that would have been a where they were in 1974 doing this was was pretty cutting edge really but of course as we know they they changed direction and took a lot of things with them. But Working Man has remained a classic track for Rush fans and even non-Rush fans as well. So thank you for watching, thank you for being here and thank you for all of your support. Those of you who have become patrons recently and YouTube members, it really means a lot to me. Remember, music is the healing of the doctor. Stay safe, keep spinning those records and I shall see you very, very soon.